Question number 5 says that write the following decimal numbers in expanded form. We'll be starting with the first bit where the number is, the decimal number is 20.03. So 2 before the decimal is at 10th place. So we'll write it as 2 times 10 plus 0 times 1 because 0 is at 1's place plus 0 times 1 over 10 because after decimal 0 is at 10's place plus 3 times 1 over 100 because 3 which is after the decimal is at 100's place. So this is the expanded form of 20.03. Coming to the second bit we have 2.03. 2 is at 1's place, so we'll write it as 2 times 1 plus 0 times 1 over 10 because 0 is at 10's place after the decimal plus 3 times 1 over 100 because 3 is at 100's place after the decimal. Now this is the expanded form of 2.03. Coming to the third bit, we have 2 times 100 because 2 is at 100's place plus 0 times 10 because 0 is at 10's place plus 0 times 1 because there is one more 0 which is at 1's place plus 0 times 1 over 10 plus 3 times 1 over 100. Now this is the expanded form of 200.03. Coming to the last bit, which is the fourth bit of this question, we can write it as 2 times 1 because 2 is at 1's place plus 0 times 1 over 10. 0 is at 10's place after the decimal plus 3 times 1 over 100 because 3 is at the 100's place after decimal plus 4 times 1 over 1000 because 4 is at thousandths place after the decimal. So this is how we write the expanded forms of given decimal numbers. To learn more about how QMath can help you crack school and board exams, explore QMath Leap, a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers.